All right, welcome back. So in the last video, we set up our database, and in this one, we're gonna be connecting our front and back ends together. Now, how are we gonna do that, you might ask? Well, we are gonna be doing that using Apollo Client. And we can copy this over. And uh, yeah, all we're gonna be installing here is Apollo Client and GraphQL, and that will give us um, something like this here. So let's come back over here to our app running and I got my front end and my back end running but that doesn't uh, really matter right now. So let's open up a new window here and let's go and CD into our uh, web folder and I'm gonna go yarn add and then paste in those things and let that run. All right, so now most of the work we're gonna do is all gonna be in the web folder, I think, for this video. So you can close up your server there and look in our SRC and we're gonna have an app.tsx here. And this is our main file. We've uh, gone over that, I believe, before. But we do not need anything in here, I don't believe. So let's actually just get rid of all this and we can just delete that and we can, uh, we'll allow that there. We can get rid of this here, delete that, and then we're gonna come in here. We can get rid of this too. Actually, we don't need that logo. Um, and that's all for that. So let's just, uh, let's add in a div here. And uh, we'll just say uh, test for now. And just save that and make sure that works. We got our app running and that's still working there. So what we wanna do here is create our client. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna go const and we're gonna say client. And then that's gonna be equal to new. And it's gonna say Apollo client there. And then we're gonna open up uh, some brackets here and uh, create an object. And in this object, we're gonna have a URI, which is gonna be the URL of our uh, backend. So for us, um, and we'll probably move this into a .env file in the, fu in the future, but uh, we just wanna show you how to get this set up here. All right, so for us, that is HTTP, and we got our uh, autocomplete right there, and we're gonna say localhost 4000, which is the port that we have this running on. And then it's gonna take a second option here, and that's gonna be the cache. And there's a few different options for this, but um, this is the one I've seen most, and. Uh, I think most people use, and that's gonna be new in, uh, what is it called, memory cache. Memory cache, I'm gonna call that there. Now we have to import uh, a bunch of this stuff here. So let's come up to the top. And we're gonna say import and open up some brackets. We're gonna say Apollo client, there we go. Apollo uh, provider and then in memory cache as well. Okay, and that is gonna be from, and all that is from at Apollo uh, slash client. All right, so that is all good. Now we wanna make use of this. So how we do that is we're gonna wrap this entire thing in uh, the provider that we're bringing in right here. So let's come down here and we can uh, wrap this here in a Apollo provider there and close that off and bring that down and we're gonna wrap that entire thing here. So what we have to do is add the uh, client here and that is gonna be equal to client. All right, and that takes care of that. We can go ahead and save that. And now we have access um, to our back end from our front end. So that is great, but we wanna make sure this actually works. So let's go ahead and uh, let's come in here and we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it components. Good, and inside here, we wanna create a new file, and we're just gonna do, uh, let's just test this out. So let's just go users.tsx, okay, and uh, we'll just delete this file after, but we just wanna make sure that this is uh, working for us. 
So let's come up to the top here and we are gonna go what? So let's come up to the top here and let's create a React functional component here. And that's just a snippet I have. I think, uh, yeah, there's plenty of libraries for snippets, but you can look one up if you want. And that just creates a React functional component for us. So that is good. Um, and when we create these users, we actually need that to be, uh, we want that to be uh, an uppercase. So let's rename this to users with a capital U. Okay, and this too. Okay, good. And then up here, we want to bring in a couple things. So let's go import, and we're gonna import GQL, which is our uh, GraphQL. Um, and then we're gonna bring in use query. And that is gonna be from, again, that Apollo library uh, at Apollo. Uh, what is it, Apollo slash client here. And that's uh, that library's got kind of everything we need to set that up. All right, cool. Now we want to um, create our first query. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna come above outside of our function here. So come down, give yourself a little bit of space here and let's go const. And we're gonna say users underscore Query, and this is just uh, all uppercase by convention, but you don't uh, necessarily have to do it that way. And then we're gonna go equals GQL, and then we're gonna open up some um, backticks here. Not regular uh, quotes, but backticks. And then below here, we're gonna write the word query. And again, we're just gonna say users query. Again, this doesn't have to be capitalized. That's just kind of a personal choice. And then in here, we're gonna say users. And that is gonna be ID, and that is gonna be name. Now, this doesn't actually exist yet, so we have to go and create this in our back end. So maybe we should go and do that first um, before we continue here. So uh, close out your uh, back takes also. Okay, so that is good. So let's come and open up our server here and we are gonna go into our query. So they are in our SRC here, and we're gonna say where types and query. So in here. All right, so we see we have a user query here, but we don't have any users query. So we just wanna be able to get all the users. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna copy this one up here. And uh, actually let's go yeah, we'll copy this down. So now we're gonna transform this into users. So we wanna have uh, this t.list.field and now that's gonna be called, um, we're gonna call it users here. And then in here, it's not gonna be type post, but it's gonna be type user. Okay, and then that's gonna resolve, that's good. And then it's gonna return uh, prisma.user dot find many and then we don't need to call that with anything so let's come here and we're just going to call that um, with no arguments or uh, object there okay so that is all we need to do for this server again so let's uh, get rid of the query here and come back in here all right so let's start uh, displaying these users here so we're going to come in here into our function and up here and we're going to go const and we are gonna go like this and we're gonna have three states. So we're gonna have loading, loading state, we're gonna have an error state, and we are gonna have the data that we get back from uh, this query here. Let's give ourselves a little more room. Okay, so those are the three states we're gonna have and that's gonna come from the use query that we brought in. Okay, and then Inside here, we're gonna pass in our users uh, underscore uh, query. So that is all we need to do for that. Let's come down below and we're gonna go if loading, then we are going to return, and we're just gonna return right now a uh, loading state. So let's just say loading, and then we're gonna say if there's an error, we're just gonna return 
uh, we'll return the, we'll return the actual error message. So error dot message. Okay, so that's great there. Now let's come down, and in the actual thing here in the the meat of our uh, component here, let's come in and we're just gonna map through our users and we'll display them. So let's open up some braces here and let's go data dot users and then we'll go dot map and we'll say user and then we'll do an arrow function here and we will say uh, we want a p tag and then inside this p tag we're just gonna say user dot name and that'll be the name of our users make sure we close off uh, our brackets there so let's come in anyways and save that That'll reformat for us nicely. And we can come back to the app and let's actually bring this in here. All right, so where we have our test, let's bring in our users component here and we can auto import that there. And that should work nicely. And there we go. So let's check it out, see if that worked. Who knows, probably made some errors, but uh, yeah. All right, so it looks like TypeScript has a bit of an issue with this. I thought we might be able to get away with it, but TypeScript doesn't have any of that. So we gotta, I guess, do our first TypeScript lesson here. So come down here, and this is gonna be uh, an interface here. We're basically just gonna come in here and type this so that this works here. So I'm just gonna give us a little more room here. Okay, so this is what's called an interface and we're gonna call it, you gotta name it, so it's gonna be our user interface. And all that we have returning here is a name property. So that's what we're gonna write in here. And then you gotta give that a type and that is gonna be of type string. Okay, so then we come down here. Right now, this is complaining about uh, the user have uh, having an implicit any type. So we wanna change that with this so it knows what it's gonna return. And all we have to do here is go colon and then user, and that'll fix that error. So if we go ahead and save that now, and we come back over to here, we can see we are all connected. That's a little bit, uh, there we go. You can see these, are, I guess, are a couple of users I created here. And if you wanna go ahead and create one, uh, I don't know if we did this yet, but you can do something like this where you have a mutation with a sign up um, with these fields or whatnot. Um, okay, so that seems to be working good. And looks like we're all connected to our uh, from our front and our back end. So that's good, and that's gonna be it for this video. Um, the next one, I think we'll probably start building out uh, our back end schema a little bit. Um, and maybe think about routing a little on the front end. We'll, we'll see what we're doing. But uh, stay tuned and uh, come back for the next one. Thanks for watching.